Man, that tree sure does look cool at night, doesn't it? Oh, man. Just gonna stand here and burp while the light inside my helmet warms my soft, fragile head. Let's talk. <laughs> Sounds good. That's right about what we'll be doing. I wasn't going to mention it, but. <laughs> that hallowed ground. You good? Isn't that an erasure of song? Hallowed Ground? I think it is. I remember it being one of my favorites from that album. So I picked up that album back when I first discovered the song Chains of Love. Oh, good times. Yahoo was another cool song. Remember it, Space Cowboy. Yahoo! Now go upstairs and write it down. What do you think, Reb? Let's have a nice wee chat, shall we? Now I get to see it on my phone all the time. These contraptions sure are cool. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. <clears throat> do what? Uh, I think it's under arrest. Rest until dawn. So it is officially time for us to take on... To take in... To take on and take in... The official of the official... The one and only... The unforgettable... The masterful... The mysterious... The dungeon. The toilet. The toilet. The first toilet. Again, thumbnail. Even during the day, that thing is shiny. Cross the bridge. No drift whatsoever. Positively great. Alright, well, to the left, to the left. Okay, let's try it. Oops, up, 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 up. Boss is on. Oh, um. Let me sit her way back to follow orders here. I'm ready for anything. There we go. Alright. I'm on fire! Well, Jade's pepped up again. Oh, shoot. Um. Okay. Alright. Cool. Give me a minute here. So, Mondo, if you can stay pepped up, that would be great. To get the show on the road, you say. Man, I love the thing. <laughs> I love the thing, I say. Let me actually see here if, uh... Cause I did gain a few levels here, so I don't know if I have enough to get... Don't know if I have quite enough to get dual wielding yet. Yes, I do! Oh! Yes, indeed. Well, see, that's good! Because right now... I have two Falcon Blades. So, oh man, I, I just I just turned into a very dangerous person. Hmm, <laughs> boomerangs already filled up here, pretty much. So, guile. Let's see what can we do? Da, 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 da. Ooh, I like that. Well, there you go with that, I suppose. Alright, Serena, I'm not gonna be able to do much with you. Solando, probably not you either. 
Jade, I mean, what do you have here? More HP? Why not? Why not? Uh, sure, why not? Let's give us a few more options in battle here. Oh, Rab and Jade have a new pet power. Cool. Alright, let's take Sylv and Jade out until... Until I get my own pep up here. And then we can do the thing again. Jeez, look how shiny I am. Still, it's pretty early in the day, though. It's easier to get those shiny spots when the sun's hitting you from just the right angle, you know? I've seen these guys around before. It's a boss, reloaded as a power, uh, as, as a pallet swap. That's what we're trying to say. Uh, okay, alright, um, let's go with you. And Metal Slash for you. Nice. Slice them up like a TV dinner, baby. Nice. Did you just fart on me? <laughs> it looks like it said Miss Rab takes no damage. That was funny. Ah, nice. Got him. Yes. Well, time to go to work on the big boy now. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Umful to end Capri Sun. And you, how do you do Zam? Nice, very nice. Two farts in a row, man. Wow. Stay down. So it looks like the nice. evil only applies to the first two hits, though. But, yeah, it's more, more experience. Yeah, see how many skill points we're getting per level now? Remember the old days when we only gained like two or three? It's definitely a step up. It's another step, spellbound bow there. That makes four of those now that I have. So I have been working to pick some up off screen. I haven't had any luck with the, um... Any rare drops or anything, but then... I didn't actually go that far into the dungeon, to be fair. I got like halfway in and I just turned around. Uh, there's a way to... Did I go over there? There's a shiny over there. Looks like there's a way to go here, but... <laughs> Maybe that's later. Actually, I think I know what that is, though. Ah, uh, figure as much. I'm going to take this first cave over here. The one that goes up under the, where the campfire is. And now I'm just going to lead to the other one. I figure it'd be something simple like that. Not forget to grab this treasure on the way, though. Have to outdo the undead. Zombie slayers. Well, well. These here are succubi, succubuses, fruity succubats. So, even all the attack is fine. I mean, at that point, what do you want to mess around with spells when you're dual wielding, you know, a sword that hits twice? Or 
Now you're dealing with some Genzi Glove offering horse shit here. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So let's just head on around this way. And this comes out over here is the treasure that we want. Ethereal stone, cool. Then we just jump down here and continue on our merry way. Arg! Very nice indeed. Alright, let's climb across that bridge again. Do 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 do. Let's not fall down the waterfall. Once you've done it so many times, it just doesn't even bother you anymore. It's a lot of monsters. <clears throat> A lot of monsters around here, though, so do keep an eye out. And we got a treasure chest. And a treasure chest at the end of the hallway here. A savage sapphire. These are some pretty rare ingredients. Might want to move them. Somewhere more secure. Or just not even worry about it. <laughs> As you've already seen that the duplication glitch works works pretty well. <clears throat> We've already seen how broken that duplication glitch can be. Uh-oh. Look at this guy. No, I don't think so. Ooh, look at those red eyes, man. Creepy. Uh, I will take a free sucky bat out. Snarf. Dude, what is that thing? Oh, Infanticore. Okay, this is interesting. Um, oh, shoot, Eric doesn't have his pep up yet. That's okay. No need to worry. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> well, it looked cool. Uh, Infanticore. So, Infanticores have a rare drop. It's called a Skull Ring. And if you can get one of those, you probably won't regret going for it. There's actually a really easy way to get one, too. Which I can't do until Eric is pepped up, so... So, in the meantime, we could try to steal it from him. But the odds of that are pretty low. The odds of stealing anything are low to begin with, but... Hmm. Oof. Boy, this guy hurts. Let's see what we got here. Let's try the boom. Nice. Ooh, drop the Enchanted Stone. Nice, that is a regular drop from them. So, it's good to get those, too. Let's check our map here. Let's see, uh... Let's see a camp's fire on the way here. Maybe we should head that way first. Campfire on the way here. I think we'll head over that way first. Mm. Take a visit on the way here. This place kind of reminds me of the that wide open area that you visit in Skyward. Ugh. This place kind of reminds me of that first area on Skyward Sword. You know, when you first land. You know. Alright, a couple of things I want to look at here. 
Ooh, level up. Hey, we got some new stuff we should look at here. It's like, oh please, not now. Eh, just one thing, Zombie Slayer. Uh, why not? Oh. Extra mural, wow. I don't think I were able to buy it. Alright, flourishes, double edge, here we go. Ooh, boy. Power extract doubled. Okay, okay. Now we got the triple whammy down here. And do it again. Nice. Now a lightning bash on this one. And a lightning bash on this one. That's about as good as you're going to get right there. That was probably already a perfect before I did that last hit, but now it's definitely a perfect. Yes. That's a two-handed sword, though, so... But you know what? We'll hang on to it. Brand new equipment. Um... There's stuff we could rework in here. One thing in particular. Well, um. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, but that's a two handed right there. Could rework these, I suppose. Oh, uh, check the equipment bag here. Man, I got so much stuff in here. It's like I'm almost tempted to... An incredible kill that can absorb MP from any spell cast on the wearer. That's weird. <laughs> Is it sort of like runic or something? Man, 11 perfections pearls. We can try, though. I think I might want to do a... Where's, uh... Oh, it's on page two. Okay. Sizzly Puff. Now, I learned another one here. Multi-Bash. Which basically strikes four random squares. It might seem like, why would you want to do that? But, at the same time, it's a lot cheaper than the Quadra Bash. And right now, when it doesn't really matter which two squares you hit, it can be worth the gamble, you know, just to spread some of the damage out early. And then just kind of go from there. Everything else good. Okay. Mmm. That was good. We'll try a triple whammy here. That's good. Power of X-Rack doubled. Ugh. I hate when that happens. It's a really inopportune moment, but... I guess that worked out. One more. We got enough for one more. That's pretty good. I don't know if that's enough for a plus three, but I guess we'll see here. Hell yeah, it is.
Mmm, okay, so, uh, let me actually put that on or not. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and quit that now. Before I forget to. Spiked armor. Yeah, man, that's a pretty damn good defense right there. I will take it. And yeah, it's going to return me to my regular outfit. But maybe, maybe we'll actually go back to the regular outfit for a little bit now. You know. Because. Uh, okay, so... Is there anything else I wanted to do on this thing? I feel like there was one more thing. I guess there was that second falcon blade. We could fix it up. Sure, why not? Falcon blade plus three. Welcome to the party, pal. All right. <clears throat> All right. All righty then. Now, what does that leave us with here? That's pretty much it then. Well, let me see something else here. Um, what was that other piece of armor? Good. Okay, so this is a closer look at that Glombolero we were looking at earlier. So apparently it only absorbs 20% of MP from incoming spells. So it's not like a total runic. And it does increase his magical might. But it also drops the defense. I don't know if I care for that too much. I don't know if that's worth it. Mm -hmm. That's some pretty good. I mean, 20% of MP though. That's quite a bit. And that's without me upgrading it. You know what? Hang on a second. Hang on just a cotton picking second here. Okay, so here it is again at plus three. Now the defense is definitely not as big a deal. And the Magical Mai actually makes the trade-off worth it. Magical Mending, as far as I'm concerned, is irrelevant for Rab. I mean, as it's Charm, there's no change in the incoming... No change in the MP recovery, but I think it's worth it. Oops, what did I just do there? Put that on there. I don't think there was anything else in here that really. I guess he did magic vestments, hairy vests here. Fizzle resistance through there as more defense, but. Actually. No. Nah, not really worth it. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah, I reckon that's all. Let's get going here. We're wasting a lot of time here. I'm never going to make it to Ellie at this point. Right, who the hell is Ellie? Yeah. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, now, now that I think about it, I don't think I actually did. Should be over here somewhere. Oh, there it is, right there in the water. And I didn't get it. It's another enchanted stone. Alright, let's head on up. Moving on up to the east side. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, we already fought one of those. If I get a chance to use the Hallelujah Pep on one of those, though, 
definitely be showing that. So we got stumps over here too, little red ones. These definitely stand out against the green. I love that they keep doing that though. And I'm sorry to the colorblind person in the comments, I feel bad now. Is uh... I gotta say, you're really missing out. So here's the forceful boomerang fling that can... So I guess as long as I'm here, I might as well show the power throw, which... Is equal damage to all enemies here. Pretty handy. Oh, there's our critical hit, right? Or our pep or whatever. It's perfect timing, so we'll just zap these guys out of existence. And you can just boom him out. Or her, whatever. Ah, not bad at all. Got the stump champ. Yeah, they can drop spellbound bows. So that's pretty handy. Alright, I'm gonna change my lineup here real quick. Let's bring in Silvando. Bring in Oh, Eric's still not shoot, okay. Well, uh, I'm just give me a minute here. Wow, I also just feel really weird. Climbing up mushrooms on the sides of trees. Reminds me of Pianta Village in Super Mario Sunshine. Also kind of reminds me of the Legion of Gaia a little bit. Asparagus. Yep, sure enough, we're gonna turn these in too before we finished off this last part here, weren't we? Red kale, yep. Gratefully pockets is fine. Well, don't mind if I well, don't mind if I do. We never did run into that other monster that one person was hoping we'd find here. Yeah. This dead end is just screaming for me to check it out. <laughs> sure enough. A spatter of molten globules. Getting pretty close here. Oh man, are we ever getting close? So under the tree, whoops. Through the tree, rather. This tree, I don't know what's up with it. It's all hollowed out like this, it's really weird. Like, are trees like that even still alive, technically, anymore? I mean, if you hollowed out a human being, Hey, would they still be alive? I don't know. Man, more of these, huh? Well, let's give it a try. Man, look at the way the sun reflects off that thing. It's so cool. whoop it up Got him. Another 10,000 experience. I mean, nobody even gained a level there. That's how powerful we are now. We also just killed something without even trying to. Let's get up to the top here. Ooh. Hello, mister. 94 now. Boy, remember the days when you hit a monster and it'd be like three or four? Then you would hit one for 12 and it'd be like, oh, I got to have a lot of health. Now we're hitting for 94. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that right there.
Soul Bringer. Get the Earth Element going here. And, uh, well. They're not hard enough for MP right now, hardly, so. I'd say probably just try a little. A little bit of this and that. <laughs> so, Earth is greater than Ice, then. Yeah, I'm not thinking in terms of Pokemon, apparently. Ah, oh, should have done Dragon Slash. Probably still do more damage with the Falcon Blades, though. The four hit Falcon Blades, that is. Superior Medicine. A lot of monsters hanging around out here. This is a pretty wide open area we got here. So. Yeah, man. Almost there, too. God, look how close we are. Trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright eyed and bushy tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? Oh. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. <laughs> Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said? There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from? Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> oh. 
But I hope they do. <laughs> and just like that, it's a new morning. Should we go ahead and I'm like, we should go ahead and do the Rainbow Road. Let's at least get it. Get it unlocked anyway. It's not like a well, it is sort of a point of no return, but not really. Besides, well, can we like save too? There was a statue down there, was there not? Well, there's a dragon there now. <laughs> well, there's a dragon there now. Yeah, it's probably safe here. Yeah, this is this is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the cliffhanger that you've all known was coming and that I've been dreading for the entire LP and well you're about a few minutes away from it right now. So enjoy this. <laughs> well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Ah, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? made of rainbows it's beautiful looks like it's finally time for our date with destiny come on we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting hmm. And just like that, we made it to the World Tree. No, you don't get to walk on the Rainbow Road, unfortunately. <laughs> I see a shiny spot. I have to pick it up. I can't just wait. I can just look at that and turn around. Dose of Superior Medicine. But what you can do, if you need to, is return, right? You can do that. Oh, maybe it's that well up there on the map, yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be what it is. Yeah, so, I mean, some people may find that a little bit, you know, a little bit taken aback by the, by the fact that you don't actually get to walk on the road, you know. You just gonna use a well to war back. But, you know, I don't know. It would have been pretty cool to walk it, but then again, as you've seen, <laughs> you've seen how convoluted that path was. It would have taken forever to do that. Besides, we ain't got all day here. Anyway, next time on Dragon Quest Builders, I mean, it was, uh, Dragon Quest Eleven, dear God. Um, we will continue to the top of the tree, to the heart of Yggdrasil, and hopefully gather what power we need to put a stop to Morrigan, and stop any further as hollow tree from, uh, wreaking havoc on the world. So yeah. To the ground below, yo. 
to sleep one more time. Take care, y'all. And good night. The tree is gone! Shit! <laughs>